welcome and welcome back to the channel it's the bargain holly here and i share the details on how to bargain shop and look good at the same time and fashion media and lifestyle so if you enjoy balling on a budget shopping affordably then this channel is for you so go ahead and click on that subscribe button and also turn the post notification bell so you won't miss when i upload a video all right you guys so in today's video we're gonna be doing a two in one so we're gonna be doing a um Louis Vuitton unboxing and we're gonna be doing a styling portion and in the styling portion I'm gonna be showing you how that it is okay um to make sure a high-end item mixed it with your low budget item so if you're into all of that and you're interested in that then stay tuned all right so <laughs> let's just go ahead and address the elephant in the room the bargainholic why it's Louis Vuitton on your channel. Well, I'm here to provide the answers for you all. <laughs> okay, so you know that I don't care how cheap you are, how, you know, whatever. Everybody <laughs> has a luxury wish list or some people call it a caviar wish list, you know. They wish, you know, for the finer things. And that is totally okay. It's okay to um, be um, budget budget friendly and at the same time have a luxury taste. You can have, you can have both worlds, okay? <laughs> you can, it's totally fine, it's normal. And it's okay. And I am going to be embracing it in today's video. So, I have been wanting a Louis Vuitton for quite some time um, and recently I was able to get it. Um, this item was gifted to me for my, uh, Christmas. If you have not watched my Christmas, my 2020 Christmas um, haul video, I will have it linked up here somewhere so you guys can check out that video to see what I'm talking about. So yeah, so this item was gifted to me by my husband. Shout out to you. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm so excited. And I decided that I wanted to um, put this item. I was kind of going back and forth and be transparent with you guys just a moment. Um, I was unsure if I wanted to put this um, here on my channel and incorporate into my content because um, you know, I'm a bargain shopper. You know, I'm cheap. <laughs> uh, I love using coupons. Y'all know how much I love the clearance and all that stuff. So basically, you know, I shop affordably. I'm cautious, you know, for the way I'm spending. But, um, you know, I have always had this wish list for quite some time. And yes, although I could have um, got this item affordably, I could have bought it secondhand from many different places like The Real Real, um, Poshmark, all of that jazz. But for me, because in the past I have always bought, um, you know, from the bootleg man, you know, knockoffs and all of that, I have always done it. So for this time, I wanted it to be the real thing. I put it on my wish list and I was able for my wish to be granted. Oh my gosh, so thankful. So, so yeah, so I just wanted to, you know, do this unboxing for you all and show, you know, still show the Bargainholic. The Bargainholic is here, okay? So that's why in the second portion of this video, I am going to be showing you how I mix my low end with my high end and it's okay too like you don't have to always match up with the price point you know drop a bag on a bag or whatever accessory you choose and then drop another bag and you know to keep up for head to top no we're not doing that okay <laughs> that's too much you know it's you gotta mix it up like it's, it's okay to have both worlds come together to create a banger okay it's okay so I am going to be um, going over the bag for you all and uh, just so you know just for a disclaimer this is no way shape or form of bragging or anything um, this is just simply showing you like I said how to mix your high end and your low end and then to encourage you that it's okay to want the luxury things even even if you are like I said even if you are a budget friendly um, person it's okay to have a luxury wish list and it's 
you know it's okay so i'm here to you know to embrace it and yes yeah, so let's just talk about before we actually get into the actual unboxing what we all been waiting for but i just want to say something just a moment okay so louis vuitton okay so this item that i'm going to show you this was purchased before the price increase if you don't know about the price increase um and you have never bought louis vuitton well i'm here to share you with the details um so louis vuitton has a price increase typically happens at the end of the year going into the next year where on some selective items the price especially their hot buys that like people are buying on um, very often the price will shoot up so this item that i'm going to show you guys is not the current it's not at the current price that my husband got it for um he got it before the price increase which is last year um christmas 2020 so i just want to put that out there but anyways honey with further ado all just talking let's just go ahead and get into the bag Whew, okay <laughs> so this is what the box look like. This was ordered online on LouisVuitton.com. And this is, again, in case you don't know, but you know, I'm gonna say it again. This is authentic. So, in this box, oh, sorry, yeah. So it comes in this box. I'm gonna show you the paperwork. This is the again the paperwork and the well the envelopes and then the ribbon that it comes with i keep all of this i love it i love it Ooh, so nice it smells so good y'all <laughs> i know i'm weird i'm weird <laughs> um here's the paper from louis vuitton and a thank you for shopping in exchange policy, return policy, in I'm guessing this is like the identity card or so. So yeah, so all is just so now to the nitty gritty of what I got. So I got the Speedy Bandolier 35. So it is a big bag. What I wanted, it comes in this dust bag. For those of you who has oh, who have purchased a Louis before. And da, 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 here is the famous bag. So yes. This is the Speedy. Now, there are two types of Speedies. There are, which is, um, there's a normal Speedy and then the Bandolier, which is the one that I have. The difference in the two is that the Bandolier comes with the strap. So you have the option of putting, you know, strapping it together. And you have the option of not. So you can wear it alone. And things so I decided that I wanted to do I have seen the um, the speedy for quite some time but I love that they came with a, um, a option for you to get with the strap I am a strap person I love 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 that it came with the strap um so with the speedies they all come with the lock pad and the band oh yeah and also I decided that I wanted to get um, which is called the bandolier um, for the handle purpose. Okay, so the other one is called monogram. So it does come in monogram with the LV of signature logo written all over it. But I did not want that because it's like that. You have to be extra, extra, extra careful, careful <laughs> with the handles because you can't have anything greasy on your hand and stuff or it will stain. And because it is a lighter, it does age or patina um, over time. So yeah, the handle of the lighter version does age. So it will get darker 
overtime of you wearing it. So I did not, I did not want to keep up with all of that because normally when I wear my bag, I'm gonna wear my bag and you know do what I gotta do. I don't want to be you know self conscious or anything like that unless I'm wearing like a white bag, of course. But yeah. So so I decided to do this and. This is what the inside looks like. As you guys can tell. And it does come with a lock, lock pad, which I just showed y'all. And then this little bag is just the key. Let me show y'all what it looks like. So you can lock your bag up. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, typically people, you know, just leave the, the lock on here for decor purpose. They don't particularly um, lock their bag up. Um, but I love that it has that option in case, you know, if you are out of town or, you know, you somewhere that you just want to lock your bag up you have that option so i love that it has gives you that option um yes i am aware that this bag is huge um there was there is another size and i think it is the speedy 25 it is much um smaller for me um if i'm gonna be dropping a bag on the bag i want the biggest one <laughs> and that's just my take on it um and and generally i love big bags like i have all sorts of bags um louis vuitton is just not my only uh bag choice i have other bags and i have bags in all different sizes so for me i wanted to get the biggest one and of course the strap oh let me show you how the strap is so yeah so you could just Do it like, come on, work with me. <laughs> okay, there we go. And yeah. So, so yeah, and this, okay, so, although, um, you know, this was a, it is a expensive bag. So in my case, this would be called an investment. So me, you know, carrying on this, you know, this bag and knowing that, you know, this is the it's a real bag, it's the real deal. And you know, it costs a lot of money. And you know, normally, you know, the bargain holiday don't be spending this kind of money all that time. But you know, I like to dip and dab, you know, <laughs> every once in a while, and it's okay too. Um, so yeah, so this would be considered um, if you don't spend this kind of money on you know your items on a uh, on a regular basis this would be considered an investment and to me because i have been wanting this for so long it has been on my wish list for god knows when that to me this is birthday investment honey and you know and i could be wearing my inexpensive gear and yeah so so now all of that being said so louis vuitton does hold its value meaning that if you you know decide that you, you don't want the bag anymore a louis vuitton bag anymore and you want to resell it um you can probably if not get all of your money back but definitely you can sell it resell it for a good significant amount of it and you know because they're older bags Still are selling for top dollars. Vintage Louis Vuitton still is still selling to this day, and people, you know, will you know still buy it. So Louis Vuitton is just one of those items that basically would not go on, go out of style and definitely hold their value. So you know, if you've been on the market or you want to um, go ahead and invest in it, you know. Keep in mind that, you know, you can always resell it anytime. Or if you want to and you are okay with um, secondhand, like I mentioned before, you can go to places, um, you know, that resells, you know, secondhand and stuff, if that's what you want to do as well. And um, I think I pretty much covered everything. I did the unboxing, I told you how I feel. 
I absolutely love this bag. So now we are going to get into the styling. So with the styling portion, um, I'm going to be telling you guys how to shop at your inexpensive stores like Forever 21, Rule 21, um, H&M, oh my gosh, how big is H&M? H&M, Charlotte Roots and all that stuff. So yeah, those are more affordable st stores. So I have a, um, a little couple of tips and tricks um, that I want to talk to you about um, before I actually style this back for you all. Okay, so when you are um, shopping in stores like that, you or for me how i like to shop stuff like that so the material you know does matter from you know it depends so yeah so you definitely want to look at the material and i know shopping at stores like that those are fast fashion and stuff and typically um stuff like uh especially like forever 21 and Ruth 21 typically the the items of the clothes do not last but for me because i know how to take care of my innocent self clothing like you know I spend five dollars two dollars three dollars whatever the cost is to me that does not matter it's all about how you take care I cannot stress it enough how to take care um of my um inexpensive items so I've been shopping in those stores for quite some time and I will and I can attest that my clothes no matter how much I pay for my you know even you know, my low budget clothes has been the wear and tear it has been little to none. I mean, I, you know, I, I just take care of my clothes. Like it had lasted me a very, very, very long time. So yeah, and you can't even tell, you know, how much I paid for it. So yeah, y'all already you know, I love the clearance that, you know, catch yourselves or whatever. So y'all know that. So um, tip number one into how to, Get that, you know, that luxury look without spending the coins to do so is to stick with neutral tone colors. So what I mean by neutral um, colors, if you can look at a color palette, um, so you can go to any, like, you probably can go to, like, um, a paint store and get, like, a, a, they actually have, like, a palette that you look for and it's actually knocked up. And so, so neutral colors, like, white, black beige and gray and and any other um further on down the line any other solid neutral color um earthy you can do earth tones like green things in um that nature of that sort so yeah so it's all about um the color choices and get it plain like get a plain black shirt plain white shirt brown cream any of that green plain shirt and you know whatever jacket pants and stuff and nobody would be able to tell so long as the material is not too noticeable no one would be able to tell that you only pay two dollars or three dollars for the item because honey i do it all the time and you would think that I paid, you know, way more than what I did and I honestly did not. So yeah, so when you're trying to get that elegant, expensive look, you do want to kind of follow that kind of, I guess, rule of thumb or so, or whatever you may call it. So yeah, so that is going to give you um, the illusion. There's just a little tips and tricks. And, you know, some people would say stay away from prints. But I'm gonna show you an example of how prints can um, come off as elegant as well. I love snake skin prints and cheetah. Those are whew, those just are tasteful prints that to me will be around for a very, 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 very long time. Um, very long time. And yeah, so I'm gonna show you an example. These are from H&M. And by the way, if you're trying to um, shop on a budget and pull off that um, that look and you want to get quality, you know, um, expensive, expensive look, H&M 
it's going to be your best friend in their clearing session. Oh my gosh, I cannot tell you. And by the way, this <laughs> blazer, as you see, is from H&M's Clearance and only paid $8.99. No cap. <laughs> I'm telling you, like the clearance section in H&M is, ooh, and the, this is a linen material. Oh, I love their quality. If anything out of Forever 21, Rue 21, or even um, Charlotte Rue, so whatever you um, decide to shop in expensive, to me, H&M has the best, the best, hands down, quality of all time. So anyway, let's just get into this prank. So this is just, you know, this is, Snake skin print. And I got these, you know, these are little muse and I got it on sale as you can see. $8.99, the regular price was $17. And this is what I mean by sticking to neutral color palette. See how it has the black and that brown and it doesn't look cheap or anything. It looks very, very, very luxurious so yeah so i love that so yeah so that's what i mean by um neutral tone palettes you know neutral colors neutral colors and plain colors just i don't know for some reason it just feels off that luxurious look that expensive look um so yeah so it just you know give that off so i just want to and it doesn't matter how much you pay for it so like i say you know i love you know the clearance section and stuff and things like that i spend a little bit of nothing i under five dollars for me honey especially at h m clearance i have found some gems you know for two dollars um in my previous h m uh video i think it was how to look uh spend on a budget i did a video on that and all of that stuff was from h m and you i mean unless i you know told you um you would have never have known all right guys so this is the outfit that i chose to pair with my speedy bag these leggings are from old navy and I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has like a full um, leather strip going down the side, which I love. I did get these on sale, I think it was like sometime last year. Um, these were originally $19.99, but you know, how the bargain holiday do I catch them? One day sale at Old Navy, and they were $6. $6. And then this shirt is from H&M. And it was $5, originally $14.99. And I did use a coupon that day. So I did get it for like $3. So yeah, so again, an inexpensive look, outfit. And then these shoes are from um, Forever 21. I talked about these shoes on my channel before. So yeah, so I just decided to go with an all black classic look that never go out of style and then this necklace comes with this shirt so i don't have to worry about necklace and then i'm like plain you know plain jane with my earrings and yeah so i think i look well put together not doing so much the shirt and the necklace is already doing enough for me so you know don't need nothing else so just this and then here's the bag so I can wear it like this or I can wear it with the strap And you see how, you know, this bag and the outfit, is just everybody just comes together, you know, and you look effortlessly, you look clean, you look expensive. I love, you know, the detailing here just gives me look vibes without spending a whole lot of money. 
So yes, yeah, so I think this outfit was a great outfit and hopefully you guys um like this outfit all right you guys so that is all for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you did please give it a huge thumbs up let me know down in the comments um how did you feel about this video did you like it um tell me you know my and also tell me about the styling part like did you like the way i rocked it and style just you know tell me your comments let you know let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and i definitely will see you guys in my next video thank you so 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 much for watching and i will see you next time